Stephen Ann Gold is an FDA organoleptic taught to sniff out smells in seafood that point to decay. That would be the worst odor, people. Or uh, some people refer to as baby diapers, other things. He works next door to a microbiologist who is hacking into Chinese-grown tilapia for a test that will reveal if it's carrying any bacteria. We would test for specific tests like salmonella, listeria, E. coli. Around the corner, an entomologist is checking ground pepper flakes for something no consumer would knowingly eat. Particularly uh, hair fragments and, uh, and uh, insect fragments, particularly. <laughs> Lab equipment here makes it easy to detect pieces of insects that would otherwise be invisible to the naked eye. I didn't find that much. I, I found some insect fragments and mites, which are very common findings. Um, you know, since, since insects are ubiquitous, we're almost always going to find something. All of the tests are being conducted inside a lab complex at the regional FDA headquarters in Irvine, California. It's one of the last stops for food that first came ashore at the Los Angeles Port of Entry in San Pedro, where ships carrying goods from all over the world are carefully guided through a narrow waterway. If FDA inspectors want to take a closer look at the contents of these shipping containers, they can have them trucked to a nearby FDA warehouse. If investigators decide to reject a shipment, either because of lab results or something as simple as CAM measurements not matching their paperwork, the importer can either ship everything back out of the country or have it destroyed.